Hi, I'm Reverend Olufola KK, and this is Proverbs of the Day. I'm taking my Proverbs from Proverbs chapter 7, and I'm taking verse 1. As a matter of fact, half of verse 1, it says, My son, keep my word. Now, whether you're a woman or a man, you're a child of God. The Bible says, keep my word. Hmm. When you tell somebody, I keep my word, what it means is, you know, I fulfill my promises. I don't just blab. I don't say what I don't mean. I don't mean what I don't say. But in this instance, the Bible says, keep my word. That God wants you to keep his own word. What word? That means you need to find out the word of God that you need to keep. How do you know that? Whatever you're struggling with in your life, there is a word you need to find to keep in your heart as the apple of your eyes, on your lips. When you do that, the word will become flesh and it will dwell with you. It will become real. The Bible speaks in the book of Hebrews. The Bible says the world was created by the word of God. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God it was in the beginning with the it was God he says all things were made through him and there's nothing you see that is made now that was not made by the word of God and God is saying my son keep that word hold on to it don't let the enemy steal it for John 10 10 says the mission of the enemy is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Not steal you, not kill you, not destroy. It's to steal the word of God because he knows that that word is sharp and it's powerful. It's able to, to build up and it's able to destroy. My son, keep my word. Don't allow the enemy to take it from you. Guard it in your heart. Keep it as the apple of your eyes. Let it not depart from your mouth. Keep saying it. Keep meditating on it. But the question is, what word are you even meditating on? You need to even know the word to be able to meditate on it or to keep it. Now you have a challenge probably with your health. The Bible speaking in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53 and verse 5. He says, he was wounded for our transgression. It was bruised for our iniquity and the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed not you will be healed you already have the healing you only need to take hold of it keep it keep that word don't let it go psalm chapter 107 verse 20 says he sent his word he healed them and delivered them from all their destruction what is it you need peace of mind the chastisement of our peace was upon him he already paid that price you should be peaceful now but it doesn't just happen you need to hold on to that word stay on this word day and night keep it so that you can use it and so that the enemy does not steal it the Bible speaking book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 says, God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. He is the supplier. He's called Jehovah Jireh. He's the one that will supply your needs. It's not running up and down, but you need that word. You need to keep it. You need to, you need to guard it diligently so that the enemy does not take it. All I'm saying is, Whenever things are happening in your life that's, you know, contrary to the word of God, what that means is something has been stolen. The enemy has stolen the word of life. It's your responsibility to keep that word because it's been released already to you. Day and night, stay on the word of God. It doesn't matter how short. Hold on to his promises and so that the devil can be put to shame. God bless you.